She reminds me a lot of Albuquerque because they say New Mexico's a little like Arizona, but I wonder if they have two on sunsets. She stands at about five feet, six inches, brown hair, and eyes that make you feel noticed. Her smile makes moments into memory. She laughs like life is worth living. All scars I ran my fingertips over that I should have noticed. Her voice lives in every empty room. She's not the best singer, but she's worth the listen. She had a fascination with leaves, pretty words, our earrings, and those sour gummy worms that all taste the same, but she swears they don't. Her favorite book has never felt a day of loneliness. She tells a story to anyone who says they'll listen. Shoulders that carry the weight of insecurities and lessons learned. I've seen her break into hundreds of pieces and walk away without the need to pick them up. She doesn't need another guy to use her heart as a welcome mat, so she locks her doors and hides away in her castle. She's her own fire-breathing dragon. As she waits for the day, someone doesn't mind getting burned for her. She's smart. I've learned to respect her as a work of art, not a masterpiece. She's too good to hang up, to hang up in a museum. She's the type of art you write about and hope someone will find her worth reading. I read her story and left my impressions on a few pages. I hope she knows I never stopped reading. I even sat back and listened to the parts that weren't so pretty, but she's beautiful. And you have to read every page to understand it. Woo!